So we're in, um, we're kind of in the middle of Sicily. We're in the no, we're in Sardinia. Oh, that's where we are. We're in the middle of Sardinia. <laughs> uh, we're sort of it. halfway, uh, sort of in inland, but about uh, in the southern bit, but but a bit uh, in the middle. And it's the fifth of November, and we are sitting in the sun. Yeah, it's really lovely. We're in the middle of countryside. Really, it's very quiet except for us and set of birds. <laughs> and this fellow who wants to get his um, his frisbee, I might let him jump off and get the frisbee because we're going to go yeah. nuts. Uh, so we've been travelling around this area, quite a small area really, for a, quite a few days now, and it's 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 not a spectacular area, but it's it's really lovely. Yeah, it's, it's got lots of interesting features on. I mean, the plane where we were yesterday is amazing, isn't it? So we were up on a on a high rocky plateau. It wasn't that high, plateau. but it's a plateau, and and they've got wild horses on there, which is I think the only place in Sardinia now where they have them. It's, so it's got this plateau's maybe fifteen miles long, something like that. Yeah, I think it's the only place in the world that they have this particular horse thing, isn't it? Yeah, and they're quite small horses, but they are horses, but they're very. Yeah, it was nice to see them. We, we saw a few of them. Yeah. 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 We've seen loads of dead people. <laughs> loads of so that's what Bernie sites. calls it, because I like going to some of the old archaeological yeah. sites. And and uh, we've been to the Roman city of Pharos, which is on a spit of land, very spectacular location. Yeah. And uh, I mean, most of it's fallen down, hasn't it? But there were two columns <laughs> that were very very much standing and it was still you know amazing location and you could still see the remains of all, pretty much all the houses and then also we've been seeing lots of um the remains of the naragi people's monuments and houses and they were around three thousand years ago i think right yeah, yeah. Three thousand. they were just a bit before the romans maybe they overlapped the romans a bit they didn't go off conquering people though so they're not as well known his name I've forgotten so we'll put it up <laughs> we'll put it up on screen but That's I mean nice. just it had a sacred well and it was really it could have been made last year it was just so perfect and so beautifully made the walls just immaculately sort of sloping inwards never seen it quite yeah. like it really it was a very unusual thing and uh, and a little well at the bottom and the well had an opening above it so there was just a little bit of light coming in from the top very amazing place and yeah so we had a, we've been enjoying yeah, a lot of these places and it's quite a mystical landscape yeah, it is say, very quite a mystical mystical, mystical landscape yeah, yeah, yeah. just generally the hills sort of they layer out and then there's some sort yeah. of very unusual it's, looking hills it's a very gentle part of our holiday isn't it yeah. we kind of feel like we've just we're just stopped and we're just kind of yeah just moving from one nice area to another and Finding lovely places. Tonight we're right by a church. Nobody around. It's really, really quiet. And we've been going to some nice little cafe bars for yeah. in the evening oh. and <laughs> even occasionally getting free beers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> From Gabrielle. Is, and I mean, uh, well, another thing we should say about Sardinia is the roads are much less challenging oh dear, yes. than on Sicily and on the rest of Italy, the whole of the mainland Italy. Yeah. Suddenly on Sardinia we feel like, oh, we can just relax and road. breathe and drive. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just... And the drivers are calmer. The, the drivers, drivers are calmer, are yeah. It's calmer. a very peaceful they're place. Not, it's just a peaceful they're place. They're not driving right behind you or trying to overtake. Yeah. And one particular place, oh yeah, Bernie was saying Gabrielli. She was in a place called Bonosno. But yeah. we went. We stayed in a place called Ally for a couple of nights, and uh, just a really friendly village. Oh my goodness! Yeah, really, okay. we really had a nice time there. And that was a beautiful village, wasn't beautiful it? Beautiful village. village. And yeah. um, and they had. I mean, th now there's been murals in almost every village we visited, and that one was no exception. And it was possibly our favourite mural, I think, in that yeah. village. Um, the little kids. And the lady who had the biggest grapefruit. Yes, we ever met. seen. <laughs> That's not a <laughs> euphemism. She, 
She was very, she was a little old lady. Yeah. She was 85, I think. She, yeah. Was 85, I think she was 85, I think she was. And she yeah. called us into a garden and we didn't know why. And then she just wanted to show off her grapefruit tree. Luckily, I didn't pick one because I think. <laughs> yes, Bernie was going to pick one, but they're I think not right yet. Pri so prize she, I think she just wanted to show them off, so that was nice. I have been picking oranges, though, because they've just been going, going wild, really. Oh, and another thing we found was um, the strawberry fruit oh, tree. I think you've mentioned that. Before, you? No, I, not. Mentioned so, the it. strawberry fruit tree, which I think um, they look a bit like strawberries, a little bit, but they've got prickly skins. But they taste a bit like peaches. They're really nice and just growing wild, so that was nice. I want Jonathan to pick me some cactus fruit, but he won't. He won't. <laughs> He's scared. <laughs> but anyway, so, yeah. so we're still alive. We're still having a lovely time. And uh, it's been lovely weather. And I think it's been lovely at home as well. So yeah, really good, good for you guys. Good. Pleased for you guys um, as well. Um, yeah. yeah. And that's it. We'll see you again soon, I think. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Ciao. 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 Another great thing from Italy. For, oh, I think it's maybe 20 cents. You get a litre of water. And so we've just been filling up for our drinking water, filling up the big bottles. And you can, you can even have fizzy water if you want. So save them buying a plastic bottle every time you want to get some water in public. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you.